facts that you need to know about the Chevy El Camino. The Chevy El Camino is one of the most unique vehicles ever produced, blending the best features of both a car and a pickup truck. This car-truck hybrid has captured the hearts of enthusiasts and collectors alike thanks to its distinctive design and versatile functionality. From its origins inspired by the Australian ute to its evolution into a powerful muscle car, the El Camino has a fascinating story that spans decades. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the world of El Caminos, you're in for an exciting journey. In this video, we'll uncover the essential facts that every enthusiast should know about the Chevy El Camino. Let's dive in. Number 1. Produced to match Australian ute. The Chevy El Camino originated from a unique blend of car and truck inspired by the Australian ute vehicles. These utes were highly versatile, providing the comfort of a car while offering the utility of a truck. Chevrolet took note of this concept and sought to create a similar vehicle for the American market. Then, the inspiration for creating the El Camino stemmed from the success of Ford's Ranchero, which was launched in 1957. The Ranchero had proven that there was a market for a vehicle that could handle both personal and utility needs, prompting Chevrolet to develop their own version. The result was the 1959 El Camino, a vehicle that seamlessly combined the sleek design of a passenger car with the practicality of a pickup truck. Chevrolet built the first El Camino on the platform of their Brookwood station wagon. This design choice allowed for a spacious cargo bed while maintaining the driving experience of a regular car. The El Camino was marketed as a vehicle that could do it all, ideal for both work and leisure. It featured stylish looks and robust functionality, making it an attractive option for a wide range of consumers. Number 2. The El Camino Name The El Camino name is derived from Spanish with El Camino translating to The Way, likely a reference to the famous El Camino Real Road in California. The El Camino Real was a 600-mile commemorative route connecting the 21 Spanish missions in California, along with Presidios and Pueblos. Historically, any road under the direct jurisdiction of the Spanish crown was considered a Camino Real, meaning Royal Road or King's Highway. The southern end of the El Camino Real was at Mission San Diego de Alcalá, while the northern terminus was at Mission San Francisco Solano. The route was revived in the American era in connection with the Mission Revival movement, with streets throughout California bearing the El Camino Real name. This historical context suggests the El Camino name for Chevrolet's utility coupe was likely chosen to evoke a sense of Spanish heritage and the famous California road. Number 3. Prematurely discontinued after two model years. When the first Chevrolet El Camino was introduced, the initial reception of the El Camino was positive with the market responding well to its stylish design and practical functionality. In its debut year, the El Camino sold an impressive 22,246 units, indicating a strong interest and demand for this hybrid vehicle. In its second year, sales dropped significantly with only 14,169 units sold. This decline in sales was a setback for Chevrolet as the company had hoped to build on the previous year's success. However, the market was competitive and Ford's Ranchero, which had already established itself, continued to attract a significant portion of the consumer base. The sharp decline in sales led Chevrolet to temporarily discontinue the El Camino after the 1960 model year. This decision was made to reevaluate the vehicle's market strategy and design. The temporary discontinuation allowed Chevrolet to reassess and refine their approach leading to the reintroduction of the El Camino in 1964. Number 4. Revival of the El Camino In 1964, the Chevy El Camino made a triumphant return after a brief hiatus, now built on the sturdy Chevrolet Chevelle platform. This smart move gave it a stronger frame and better handling, making it a favorite once again. The 1964 El Camino could handle heavier loads and offer a smoother ride, which was a big hit with buyers. The comeback didn't stop there. The 1968 model introduced the high-performance SS396, boasting a powerful 396 cubic inch V8 engine. This transformed the El Camino from a practical utility vehicle into a muscle car icon. Then, in 1970, the SS454 hit the scene with a massive 454 cubic inch LS6 V8 engine, delivering a staggering 450 horsepower. This made it one of the most powerful vehicles of its era, thrilling muscle car fans everywhere. Throughout the 1970s, the El Camino continued to evolve with various design and performance upgrades. 
by the end of its production in 1987, the El Camino had transformed several times, adapting to market trends and consumer demands. Its blend of utility, performance, and style secured its status as an automotive legend. Number 5. The largest and one of the slowest El Caminos. The 1970 El Camino SS454 stands out as one of the most iconic models in the El Camino lineup. This particular model featured a 454 cubic inch LS6 V8 engine, which produced a staggering 450 horsepower. This immense power made the SS454 one of the most powerful vehicles of its time, capable of delivering an exhilarating performance that appealed to muscle car enthusiasts. The 1970 SS454 wasn't just about raw power. It also featured a distinctive design with a sportier, boxier look that added to its aggressive stance. This combination of power and aesthetics made the 1970 El Camino SS454 a standout in the muscle car era. In 1973, the El Camino underwent a significant redesign, resulting in the largest and heaviest model in its history. This redesign included a longer and taller body, which provided more interior space and cargo capacity, enhancing its practicality. Despite the added weight, the 1973 El Camino maintained its appeal, partly due to the luxurious options that were introduced. These options included upgraded interiors and additional comfort features, making it a more attractive choice for consumers looking for both utility and luxury. Number 6. Special Editions the El Camino's legacy is rich with special editions and limited production models, each adding unique features and cosmetic enhancements. One of the most notable was the Black Knight, introduced in 1978. This edition featured a striking black paint job with dramatic graphics, including large winged dragon decals on the hood and fenders. Due to a copyright issue, it was quickly renamed the Royal Knight, but it retained its bold look and continued to attract enthusiasts. Throughout its production, the El Camino saw various other special editions and variants catering to different tastes and preferences. The Royal Knight, with its bold design and limited availability, became a collector's favorite. Another notable variant was the Conquista, which offered a more upscale appearance with special trim and interior options. These editions reflected Chevrolet's effort to keep the El Camino relevant in a competitive market by offering something unique and exclusive. Number 7. Market and Cultural Impact The Chevrolet El Camino carved out a unique spot in the automotive world, catching the eye of many, including high-profile figures like Bill Clinton and Evel Knievel. Its blend of car-like comfort and truck-like utility made it a hit with a wide range of drivers. More than just a practical vehicle, the El Camino became a symbol of a distinctive lifestyle and attitude. Even after its discontinuation in 1987, the El Camino has kept a strong following, becoming a cult classic. Collectors and enthusiasts especially prize models like the 1970 SS454 for their powerful performance and iconic design. Its impact on American automotive history and its frequent appearances in movies, TV shows, and music videos have cemented its status as an icon. The El Camino stands as a testament to Chevrolet's innovative approach in merging car and truck elements into one unforgettable vehicle. Number 8. Technological Advances The Chevrolet El Camino stood out not just for its design but also for the technological innovations it featured over the years. One key advancement was the introduction of air shocks, which improved its ability to handle heavy loads. This feature allowed for better load distribution and enhanced driving dynamics making the El Camino a versatile choice for various tasks. Engine options were another highlight of the El Camino. It offered a range of high-performance V8 engines that attracted muscle car enthusiasts. The pinnacle of these was the 454 cubic inch LS6 V8 engine in the 1970 SS454 model, delivering an impressive 450 horsepower. This turned the El Camino into not just a utility vehicle, but a powerful performance machine. The 1970s brought stricter emissions regulations, prompting a shift towards more environmentally friendly designs. For the El Camino, this meant transitioning from raw power to more luxurious and fuel-efficient models. Chevrolet adapted by enhancing interior comfort and adding new features to appeal to a different segment of buyers. This adaptability ensured the El Camino stayed relevant in a changing automotive landscape, showcasing Chevrolet's ability to innovate and evolve. Number 9 the fall of the Chevy El Camino. 
In the mid-1980s, the Chevy El Camino hit a rough patch. Sales were dropping and General Motors had to make some tough calls to keep it going. In 1985, they moved production to Mexico to cut costs and stay competitive. This was a smart move to save on manufacturing expenses, but it wasn't enough to turn things around. The market was shifting. Consumers were leaning more towards traditional trucks and the rising popularity of SUVs. These vehicles offered greater utility, overshadowing the El Camino's unique blend of car and truck features. Economic factors and changing tastes also affected its declining market share. Number 10. Legacy and Collectability The Chevrolet El Camino has cemented its status as a classic, highly valued in the collector car market. Its blend of car and truck elements and its historical significance make it a sought-after model for enthusiasts. Restored El Caminos, especially those in top condition, can fetch high prices at auctions, highlighting their lasting appeal. Models from 1968 to 1973 are particularly prized for their design and performance. These years mark the peak of the El Camino's muscle car era, featuring powerful engines and iconic styling that define American automotive culture. The 1970 SS454, with its 454 cubic inch V8 engine, stands out for its performance and rarity, making it highly desirable among collectors. Today, owning an El Camino is seen as a badge of honor among car enthusiasts. Its blend of utility, performance, and rich history ensures it will remain a beloved and collectible vehicle for years to come. So, what are your thoughts on the legendary Chevy El Camino? Would you like to take this iconic vehicle for a spin? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting automotive content. Until next time, thanks for watching.